All human beings were equally created in the image of and likeness of God. This is stated in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. In John chapter 3 verses 16 states, For God so loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Also, in John chapter 3, verse 17 states, God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. And this is taken from the New Living Translation Bible of the King James. God does not have any favoritism, nor does God show partiality. And this is stated in Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 17, which states, for the Lord your God is the God of gods and the Lord of lords. He is the great God, the mighty and awesome God, who shows no partiality and cannot be bribed. In the Old Testament, God divided the human race into Jews and Gentiles. And during that period of time, the Jews became proud and despised the Gentiles. The Lord Jesus had to intervene, and in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 states, For Christ himself has brought peace to us. He united Jews and Gentiles into one people, when, in his own body on the cross, he broke down wall of hostility that separated us. Also, verse 15 states he did this by ending the system of law, with its commandments and regulations. He made peace between Jews and Gentiles by creating in himself one new people from the two groups. Together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups to God by means of his death on the cross and our hostility toward each other was put to death. In John chapter 13 verse 34, Jesus commands us to love one another as he loves us. The world has seen a long history of racism, and it can be traced from the earliest civilizations. At various times throughout history, different categories of people, including Irish Americans, Italian Americans, Jewish Americans, African Americans, and Latinos have been the objects of racist ideology. Prejudice and discrimination and personal characteristics like names.